Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode where all the kids are amazing, fabulous, smart, uh, good-looking, whatever. But are they super? Let's find out. Let's find out with my great friends from Seoul Kwangjan Elementary School! program in the world of Korea. We are especially proud of this one, the Dream School Project. For our friends who are not well and cannot come to school for a long time, there are online classes so that they can study and meet and play with friends. Here are some students who know all about having dreams and working hard to relay them. Let's meet the soccer team. One of Korea's best soccer players, Hong Myung Bo, was a former student of our school. Our soccer team was re-established seven years ago, and they have won in various regular leagues. Watch out for the next <목소리> 우리 서울 광장 초등학교는 큰 배움으로 품을 키워 행복을 나누는 어린이 육성을 교육 목표로 현재 그리고 미래가 행복한 학교를 꿈꾸고 있습니다. 슈퍼 퀴즈에 참가하고 있는 우리 광장 어린이 여러분 그동안 갈고 닦은 실력을 힘껏 발휘하시기 바랍니다. 광장 어린이 여러분 아자 아자 We begin. We begin with four teams, and each team has 60 seconds to get as many words as possible. Only two teams will advance. The rest will be on the side crying. No, it's not that bad. Everyone has a chance to join our leaders towards the end. But right now, two teams. Two teams can advance. So the four are going to try their best to get as many words as possible. What are the categories? They will choose randomly some letters. Whatever they choose will connect to a category. Would you like to know the categories? Who wants to know the categories? OK, they're saying yes, they want to know. There's human body, kindergarten, paper, home appliances, night, and jobs. OK, my job right now is to introduce you to our first team. Hi, are you ready? Yes. And what category would you like to get? Uh, human body. Human body, we'll see. Let's see the letters real quick. What's your choice? C. C, and it's paper. OK. Um, so let's warm up for a second. When you think of paper, what comes to mind? Tree. Tree. It might come out. OK, let's begin with paper. This is published every morning. Newspaper. This country invented paper first. China. You use this to stick paper together. Uh, poster. You write with this at school. Pass. This is used for advertising things like movies. Pass. It is used for carrying things you buy. Pass. 
A book of paper where you write notes and homework. Pass. This shows days, weeks, and months of the year. Oh, pass. Paper is made from these, which are found in the forest. Three. You use this to organize paper. Pass. You need this to mail a letter. Stamp. You can get rid of your mistakes with this. Eraser. You use this to stick paper together. Oh, pencil. You write with this. Okay, all right. Yeah. Very good. You do write with the pencil. Okay, let's see. They did it right. Not bad. First team got a total of five points. Let's have another team come on out. The first team got everybody warmed up. They see how it's done. You know, when you say pass, it has the same effect as guessing and you having the wrong answer. So I would say listen to the hint. Even if you don't see it immediately, then just say something. Make a guess. Often you're right. Again, saying pass, same deal. Okay, here's the second team. How many points do you think you're going to get? Eight. Eight, okay. Healthy goal. Let's see the letters. E. E's the choice. Night. Okay, what comes to mind? Mm, star. Star. Sounds good. Okay, hopefully you'll shoot like a great star here. Let's begin. You see this round object in the night sky. Moon. The world becomes this at night, not light. This person sucks people's blood. Yes. We sleep in this piece of furniture. Bed. You can see well in the dark with this. Light. A very scary dream. Dracula. You wear this when you sleep. Uh. This is used for resting the head on while sleeping. Pillow. A small flying animal that hangs upside down in Cut. caves. This animal likes fish. Piss. You write about what happened to you each day. Diary. You can see the stars in the sky with this. Oh, dark. The world becomes this at night, not light. Dark. This person sucks people's blood. All right. Pretty good. It is Dracula. <laughs> and I like garlic, so I'm not Dracula. Okay, it looks like they tied the first team. Five points. Very good. Next team, come on out. All right, not bad. We're halfway through. Let's meet our next team. Hi, how you feeling? Not good. Not good, okay. Well, let's choose a letter in a category and see how good you're feeling after that. Here are the letters. B. B's a choice. Kindergarten. Now, I know it's been a long time since you were in kindergarten, but what comes to mind? Desk. Desk. Okay. Let's go to kindergarten. Kids play with these robots, dolls, and blocks. Pass. This instrument has black and white keys. Piano. You put this on the head. Temp. In the playground, kids sit on both sides of this and go Pass. up and down. Pass. This is a sweet fruit drink. Pass. You play this instrument by shaking it. Pass. Teachers write on this with board markers. Whiteboard. You put candles on a cake and have fun with friends. Birthday party. This person looks after the students. Friends. You go to this school after finishing Elementary kindergarten. School. Elementary school. You play with this person. Teacher up. A book of paper used for drawing. Sketchbook. Kids play with these. Robots, dolls, and blocks. Ah, yeah. Well, the last one was toy, and it's a teacher that you don't play with, uh, unless they're a teacher like myself. They're your friends. Okay, got a total of six points, not bad. Next team, come on out. One more team, 12 more words. 
60 seconds. Okay, let's see what category they get. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's see the letters. Uh, D. D? Home appliances. Okay, home appliances. What comes to mind? Uh, refrigerator. Refrigerator, I'm getting hungry. Let's <laughs> go there. You need this to use the internet. Computer. You watch dramas, shows, and news through this. Pets. You need this to talk to someone far away with this. Call television. Uh. You need this to watch a movie at home. Uh, television. You shave with this. This. You dry your hair with this. Hair dryer. This tells you time. Clock. This makes your clothes clean. Pass. This is used for baking bread. Pass. This cools you down in summer. Fan. You use this to move information from a computer onto paper. USB. This keeps you warm in winter. Pass. You watch dramas, shows, and news. Oh. Okay, just spending a lot of time at school and outside of the home. That's probably the reason why they only got four points. Not bad, we're going to the next round. Deck. Tamao. Uh, brain? Head. Brain? Melman. Ears. Actor. As I said before, these guys are amazing, fabulous. Are they super? We'll find out. But you know, it's important for young people to have role models. We look to famous people in history and hopefully we'll learn something from them. Perhaps we'll take after them. Perhaps these guys will be famous people in history someday. Okay, now they have studied a famous person in history. Who is it? Perk up your ears. Since his childhood, Jean-Henri Fabre has always been interested in insects. He dedicated his whole life to study them. His book, Entomological Souvenirs, took around 30 years to complete. Let's find out more about this amazing entomologist. All right, let's see if guys, these guys know their bugs and know about the bug master. Let's have the first two come on out. As you know, our famous guy today studied bugs. He was really into bugs. His hobby was bugs. Number one, do you have a hobby? Yes. What is it? Draw a picture. Drawing pictures, excellent. How about you, number 11? Making something. Making things, all right. Well, here you go. Here's your question. Fabre was born in France. In which village was he born? 
address number 11. Sangreong. Good job. Two more, come on out. Okay, number two, what do you like to do in your free time? Play computer. I'm sorry? Play computer. Play computer games, okay. And how about you, number 12? Reading a book. Reading books. Good luck to the both of you with this question. What was Fabra's full name? We want to know what was full name number two. Agni Fabra. Okay, you're getting closer. Yes, number 12. John Ang Lee Pabru. Good job. Very good job. Thank you, Mr. Giraffe. Jean Henri Fabre. Fabulous. Two more, come on out. Which of the following is not an insect? A. Butterfly. B. Mosquito. C. Spider. Yes, number three. B. Your chance, number 13. Three, two, one. Okay, once again, you're both alive. Three and 13, you can both press the buzzer down. What is the answer? Number three. C. All right. What was Fabra's job in his 20s? He had a job. Number 14. Teacher. Yes. All right. Number 15. 10. Ten. Ten. He says 10. Correct, Amundo. Good job. April 3rd. Yeah, April 3rd. Yes, number 17. B. Absolutely. B is correct. Yes, number 18. Death. Very good. All right. Well, we're getting down to the last couple. Let's have a couple. Come on out. Hi, number nine. Do you have a favorite class? Art. Art. Awesome. Okay, and how about you, number 19? Math. Math. Art and math. Nice balance, actually. Here's a question for you. Fabra studied this insect walking in the garden with his grandson. This insect is known to be diligent, but Fabra said it to be cruel. What was this insect? What is a small insect? I think there's even a story about it being diligent. The blank and the grasshopper. Number nine. Ant. All right. Yeah. Let's have our final two, come on out. All right, number 10. What do you like to do on the weekends? Uh, play basketball. Play basketball, you're pretty tall for your age. Are you pretty good? Not bad. Not bad. New number 20, how about you? The weekend, free time, what do you enjoy doing? Mm. Play computer game. Play computer games. All right, indoor, outdoor, here is your question. Fabra's parents had young Fabra take care of this animal. Fabra enjoyed looking after this animal's eggs. What was it? Want to know the name of this animal? Yes, number 20? Sheep. Sheep. No, that's not it. Three seconds to you, number 10. Duck. He says, duck, is that correct? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So we did it. We have narrowed the pack down. 
From 20, we've gone to 10, and if you're excited, like I am, let's go to the next round. Ten students from Seoul Kwangjung Elementary have moved on, and they're waiting. They're waiting for four of these individuals to join them. Who will it be? We'll find out. Let's get some help from Dami. Hey, Dami. Hey, Isaac. Um, well, I'm here to help you, and you have to listen carefully to the questions. And here is your question. This question has to do something about sports. What kind of sports do you like to play? You know, now that the weather is getting a little warmer outside, I think swimming sounds like a good idea. Okay, listen carefully. In soccer, players are cautioned with this colored card when they make a foul, and another card will send them off. What color is this card? In soccer, players are cautioned with this colored card when they make a foul. Another one of these, and the players get sent off. What color is this card? Please write it down. Five, four, three, two, one, and raise your board, please raise it, raise it, raise it. I want to see it, I want to see it. The answer is yellow. Yellow. Okay, this next question is a math question. So while you're listening, you might want to write down some notes. A toy factory is trying to make 200 toys in four days. On the first day, the factory made 57 toys, and on the second day, it made four less toys than the day before. On the third day, it made seven more toys than the second day. How many toys will the factory have to make on the fourth day? Not easy. I'll say it slower. In four days, the factory wants to make a total of 200 toys. That's the goal. First day, they made 57. Second day, they made four less toys than the day before. Third day, Seven more toys than the second day. How many will the factory have to make on the fourth day to get a total of 200? Five, four, three, two, one. Raise those boards! I want to see them! I want to see the answer! Show me the number! Show me the number! Show me the money! No, show me the number! The answer is... 30 toys. 30 toys, keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. Okay, this next question has to do something with nature, you know, the environment. Did you know that the earth is mostly surrounded by water? Well, this question has to do something with water, so let's listen carefully. This river has a nickname, the lungs of the earth, and it is surrounded with rainforests. What's the name of this river located in South America? We want to know the name of a river. South America, very, very big nickname, the lungs of the earth. Very big and, of course, surrounded by rainforests. Five, four, three, two, one. Raise those boards, please. Raise those boards. Let's see. 
Okay, I see a couple of good ones. The answer is... Amazon! 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 I've got two students on either side of me. They are the magical four. Gonna join the other ten. Great job, guys. Let's say thank you to Tommy. You're welcome, and congratulations to the two and two who won, and I wish you good luck for the rest of the game. All right, bye. See you next time. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next round. Come on, guys. We need five. We need five and we have 14. So how do we get there? We ask questions, of course. It's a quiz show. What else would we do? Um, what's gonna happen in this panic attack segment? Is that we're gonna give you questions. Usually they have four words that are hints connected to the question. So those four words will together create kind of an image and a picture that should make sense. Alone the words of course, they're related to the answer, but are often tricky. So when you hear one word, you can press your buzzer and answer the question. If it's wrong, you have to wait until everybody else has their chance. That's how it works. That's how we'll get our five. Here is the first question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Silver. Cat. Chime. Emile. Put them all together. Yes, number six. Press the buzzer down. We'll have the bunny rabbit run over to you. All right. Your answer is? Bell. Is the answer Bell? Yes, it is! One down. Very good. One of the spots is taken now. Four to go. That's right. Silver bells, silver bells. And of course, a cat. You know, ever read that story, hear the story about the mice that wanted to put the bell on the cat so they know it's coming? Chime, ding, 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 and a famous bell. Okay, let's have our next question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Big. Plankton. Greenpeace. Yes, number 11. You pressed it down and your answer is? Well, wait. It says well. Yes, correct. Very good. Very good job. Very good job. I uh, learned how to speak whale when I watched Finding Nemo. Can you speak whale? All right, here's our next question. <laughs> what comes to mind when you hear the following words? White. Bulgaria. Bacteria. Mechnikov. Put them together. You might get it. Yes, number 14, press it down. The mic's going over. Your answer is? Doctor. No, that's not correct. Number 15 next to him has pressed down. Yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah. Delicious answer, yogurt is correct. Put them together, tastes good and good for you. Yogurt! Okay, three spots are taken, two more to go. Here's the question. 
What has something to do with the following words? Square. Gloves. All right. Number 16, your answer is? Baseball. That's not right. Let's have the next hint, please. W-B-A. Champion. Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Who knows the answer? Nope, sorry, number 16, you gotta wait until other people have tried. We're gonna give everybody three seconds first. Three, two, one. Yes, number 10, hang on a second. We'll get the mic to you. Your answer is? Wrestling. Ooh. Yes, number 16. Boxing. Yeah, you got it. That's right. Champion, of course, can be for many sports. WBA, World Boxing Association, gloves. That's, uh, and of course, they're in a ring in a square. Very good, okay. We've got one more spot to fill. Who will get it? Here's the question. What has something to do with the following words? Soldier. Olympics. Race. Song Kijong. Number 14, your answer is? Marathon. Yeah. Marathon. We are gonna get serious in the next round with a lot of great questions for these five great individuals. Let's go to the next round. The finalists of Seoul Kwangdung Elementary School are waiting. We need to have a school champion. One who will hopefully get the one word, but that's in the final round. Right now, we need to find that school champion. We need to get somebody with the highest amount of points. Now, everybody begins with 100 points, and they get higher and higher and higher. If they get the wrong answer, it's minus zero. No deductions. Each individual also has a chance they can double the value of a question. Would you like to meet the finalists? Here, go ahead, check them out. Exciting, huh? It's gonna be exciting. Okay, well, if you look at our board, we've got 10, 20, and 30 point questions. But usually those 30 point questions, someone doubles up and the score gets high. Well, let's take a look at the board if you guys don't mind. A lot of familiar categories, but always different questions. All right, I know words and logic number. Let's check out equal for 10 points. Get the party started. Here we go. The Little Mermaid, Anderson. The Little Prince, blank. Okay, Little Mermaid is to Anderson as the Little Prince is to blank. Yes, number 11. 생택지베리. 
Yeah, you got it. 10 points. Starting off. Decent. Of course, those are the stories and the writers responsible for those great stories. Well, these per people made great stories. And I remember earlier, you said you like to make things. What kind of things do you like to make? Lego or robot. OK, robots, buildings, things like that. Excellent. OK, 10 points for you. Please choose a category. Super question. Super question for 10 points. Here we go. Double S, one, two, three, press, come on. Be Baby, Baby, say again. Baby, please say again. 네, 그러면 이렇게 두 명이 함께 노래를 부르는 것을 무엇이라고 할까요? 문제입니다. Oh, number six, press the buzzer down. Your answer is? Duet. Yeah. Yeah. Very good job. Uh, they asked me to be their back dancer, but I said I was busy. Uh, that's right, 10 more points for you. And now, if I'm not mistaken, you want to be a movie director. Yes. Because you love movies. Yes. So do you have a favorite movie? Uh, King Kong. King Kong. Interesting. Okay. What's your choice of a category? Uh, 20 point logic. Logic for 20 points. Get those super brains ready. Here we go. Isaac's clock needs new batteries every two hours and 30 minutes. If he began changing the batteries at midnight, what time will it be when he changes the batteries for the fifth time? I gotta get a new clock. But until I do, it's eating up those batteries. Every two and a half hours, two hours and 30 minutes, I change those batteries. So starting at midnight, two and a half hours, two and a half hours. On the fifth time, what time will it be? What time will it be? Logic, math, someone's gonna press real soon. Changed five times. And the answer, someone know it? <laughs> Number 11. 10 o'clock. He says 10 o'clock. Is that logical? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> he makes robots. That's his hobby. Pretty cool. 20 more points to his 10 already. In the lead, 130. Please choose a category. Words. Words, sticking with 20 point questions. What word commonly fits in all the blanks? Blank service. Mush blank. Number 16. Room. She says room, is that the right word? Yes, it is. Yeah. Very good. Room service, mushroom. Classroom was going to be our last hint, but you got it, number 16. Now, I heard you like comics. Is that correct? Yes. So in the future, you want to be what? Comic artist. A comic book artist. So you do a lot of drawing at home? Yes. Do you draw animals or people, or you make your own thing up? People. People. Excellent. Okay. Well, Jiyun, you have 20 points. You're in second place, and you must choose a category. Number. Number. Okay. Let's wipe out that last 10-point question. Good luck to all of you. 60 years from today, Korea's first parliamentary elections were held on May 10th 
1948. At the time, the members served two-year terms. The latest elections were held on April 9th. How long will the members serve their terms? Yes, number 16. Four years. Four. You got it. Four years. Four years. That's right. Very good. Now you are tied for first place with 130 points. Let's look at the board real quick. Since we're mentioning points, number six, 110 points. Number 11, tied for first, 130. There, number 14 and 15, they have 100 each. And finally, number 16, also tied for first, 130 points. Okay, Jiyun, your choice of category. Mm, poet. For 20 points, poet. Okay, right in the middle of the board. It's our final small point question. Here we go. Listen carefully to the following poem. A Lamp of the East. In the golden days of the East, Korea was one of its lamp bearers, and the lamp is waiting to be lighted once again for the illumination of the East. The poet of this poem was born on May 6, 1861. He was the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize, and he called Korea... Number 11. Kim Dae-jung? Nope. He also won the prize, but was not the first. That last part of the hint, he was the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize, and he called Korea the lamp bearer of the East. Who was he? We want to know the name of the poet. The name of the poet. Wrote this famous poem, first Asian to win the Nobel Prize, and he said that Korea was the lamp bearer of the East. Five seconds. All right, the answer, Tagoru. Tagoru. In case people viewing at home or around the world did not know, that's the answer. In case you get asked that question at a party, <laughs> now you know. Okay, so once again, you have a choice. But instead of 20-point questions, I believe 16, we got to go to the 30-point questions. What's your choice? Who am I? Who am I for 30 points? Remember, at any point, you can use your chance. If you want to use your chance, push your buzzer down. It will double the value. Who am I for 30 points? Here we go. Who am I? I always need a partner. I have two big holes in my heads. I am scared of rock, but paper is scared of me. Number 11. Scissors. Are you sure? Yeah. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Always need a partner. Solo, no. Two big holes in my head so you can hold that. And of course, rock, paper, scissors. Scared of the rock, but the paper scared of you. Very good. Excellent. Mr. Logic, the robot maker. Okay, number 11, you're in the lead right now. Patterns. What's your choice? Patterns. Patterns. For 30 points, once again, does anybody want to use their chance? No deduction, nothing to lose. Maybe they're saving for the last question. Here we go, patterns for 30. Look at the following pattern and work out the sum of A, B, and C. Want the total. A plus B plus C is what? 15. 15. He says 51, is that correct? 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. On the board. Okay, Namgyu. So, Namgyu, I heard that you really like space. Yes. And you have, uh, how do you look at space? With a telescope. With a telescope. All right. Maybe another future astronaut. Okay, the last question is the big question. It's worth 30 points. Now, none of you has used your chance yet. Do any of you want to go for it? It doubles the value. Go, go ahead, push your buzzer down. Put the chance in the holder if you want to go for it. Nothing to lose. Guys, you got nothing to lose. Push the buzzer. Okay. Everybody's going for it. The last question. Worth 60 points, normally 30. The category is Super Korea. There's no mystery about that. Let's hear our Super Korea question, which is going to pretty much decide the outcome of the game. Here it is. Hello, Super Kids. Yum! I can smell delicious food in the air. That's because I'm in Gyeongju for the traditional wine and rice cake festival 2008. Yummy and chewy. Let's go taste some delicious rice cakes. Ta-da! It's already the 11th traditional wine and rice cake festival this year. Colorful rice cakes look good as well as taste good. Check out the various cooking utensils for making rice cakes. Join in the fun events for a special experience. There were events where people could try making their own rice cakes. So, of course, I had to go at making glutinous rice cake. You have to hit the dough many, many times to make it chewy and yummy. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? After making the rice cake, I had fun playing some traditional games. It was just like living in the olden days. It was an event where we could learn about Korea's traditions. Did you enjoy it? Then, here's the question. There are various kinds of steamed rice cakes in Korea. This particular rice cake is especially served on a child's birthday, as it is seen as pure and sacred food. What is this rice cake called? Yes, number 11. Pixogi. All right. Pexogi, yeah. Very good. All right, he was in the lead. And with that, of course, he maintains the lead and is the school champion. Very good job. Let's go to the next round. He's a great job so far, obviously the school champion, and you know your rice cakes. Yeah. Very delicious. Actually, I think after the show, I'm gonna go eat some rice cake. What are you gonna do after the show? Play with my friend. Okay, great. Now this is a chance, you're in the middle of the stage, I know you're a little nervous. Why don't you look in this camera and say something to mom and dad? Mom, dad, I love you. Okay, very good. Um, now, do you know how this works? We have essentially a challenge where you have to solve words but we yeah. want to get to one single word once you go through once you navigate the crossword puzzle then you'll get to that one word and i'll yeah. give you some hints now we've got three crossword puzzles ready for you here are three letters you choose one and we'll get this thing going you got to get you to the status for super kid really quick here are the three letters F, O, and D, and your choice is? F. F, okay. Get an A plus with this one. Good luck. This has eyes, a nose, and a mouth. 
Mal. My brother. Pass. You sleep in a tent outside when you do this. Camp. An animal kept in your home. Pet. This is stretched across a tennis court. Pass. Your brother's son. You use this to play the violin. Four. Okay, there is the word, and you have one letter of that word. One letter. Now I'm going to give you two hints. Hopefully, you will. Make sense of it. One hint is water. Water. Okay. The next hint is Trevi. Trevi. Notice Trevi is capital T, so it must be something obviously related to Trevi and water. One word, inside that word, there is the letter T. If the first or second letter were revealed, that'd be more helpful. But can you make sense of this word? The two hints, water and trevi, and the one word with the T inside. I need you to guess that word. Okay, Hee-sung, number 11, school champion. We're going to give you five seconds, but guess that word before the end of five seconds, please. The word is fountain. Fountain. All right, good job. He's a school champion. Let's give him a little support, guys. You did good. You did good. Okay, future scientist, future robotic maker. Okay, well, I think it's time to say see you later, not just to mom and dad, but to every viewer watching. Thanks for hanging out, guys, and we'll see you next week for another exciting round of Super Kids! Bye-bye! Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid will receive a notebook computer. The school champion receives a digital camera while second to fifth place will receive an MP3 player. All contestants will receive a gift certificate from Super Kids. Let's find out with my great friends from Seoul Kwanjang Elementary School! Yeah. Let's go there! Okay, now the... Usually those are 30 point questions. Someone doubles up. Pass!